All right, how's everybody doing? Uh, today, I'm gonna show you how to interact with Reddit without using um, the package Prawl. So if you are interested in um, accessing the Reddit API, typically they recommend you use the package Prawl, but the problem is Prawl doesn't interface well with Python Anywhere, and I primarily use Python Anywhere to run most of my scripts. I have a Raspberry Pi, but uh, I pay five bucks a month for Python Anywhere, so I pretty much switch everything over there. Um, so if you've ever been on Reddit, um, you, hopefully you're watching this video. I mean, um, if you're not on Reddit, then there's really no point for you to watch this video. But anyway, um, you have all these posts, and within the posts you got uh, the comment section and all that stuff. So this is really only for accessing um, the posts and the comments you can't push any data to reddit so if you want to build a bot um, you're gonna have to figure out a different way this is merely for kind of scraping it's essentially I'm just teaching you how to scrape reddit so uh, this is a popular subreddit I'm on here a lot so let's say uh, every day I want to read the daily financial independence discussion thread and I want to get it emailed to me or I want to put it up on my website or whatever so every day the auto moderator posts this thread and it is always in this exact format daily fi discussion thread dash and then the date so it's a very predictable thread posted by the auto moderator so once I know how they name it every day, I can run a script every day at 6 a.m. Uh, and I can get the URL to that and I can post it wherever I want. So how do we do that without using Prawl? So we're going to need a couple packages, uh, requests in order to access the internet, JSON to parse the data, date time um, to figure out what today's date is, and then reformat it and then I write it to a CSV you can do whatever you want with it you can just write it straight to an HTML for an email uh, or really whatever you want to do so but I'm going to be showing you how to, to write that to a uh, CSV file so first we're going to get the datetime.date.today because that's what we're going to need in order to um, finish the thread name and then we're going to reformat it into the correct format so capital B writes out the entire month uh, in letters so June J U N E and then the day comma and then the year so YY uh, 22017 and then uh, this is something I have because when I write it out to my CSV I wanted it in a different format so I want the day um, like 10 June 2017 but that you can do whatever you want all right so after we have those we're going to generate the search key so it always starts out daily fi discussion thread dash and then I'm going to use the dot format and I'm going to get that date string so what that essentially is doing if I do So let me just run that and I'll just show you. Okay. Okay, anyway, here it is at the top. So that's what I want. That's what this looks like. So that's what I'm going to write. Okay. And then the print key is just putting it in that other format because um, that's what I'm going to write out in my CSV. That's just the format that I want it in. So now we're going to run a request so this is actually how we access it and what this is doing is it's going to the subreddit and it's getting 10 of the posts so if it's a pretty popular subreddit or whatever you can change that to like a lot more but for financial independence you know when i'm searching there's there's gonna be less than 10 um, posts for that day so if i type that in here it's going to pop up so this is all of the data for those 10 posts all the child comments in JSON format 
and all the links, all that stuff. But I don't need all that. So now, the first um, function I have is just going to get the title of the post. So for post in RJSON, I want data and then children and then data.title. And I'm going to yield that and then I'm going to pull it up. This is just going to return a generator object. So then I, I need to put it into a list format. And so if I run this now, let me save it. Okay, so here's all the titles for all those posts. Okay, and if you see, there's the first, there's the second, and what I actually want is the third one. I want the third post. So in indexing form, the Python uses zero as the first post. So I really want it. I want the index one, zero, one, two. So I need to get it to return the index. So I'm going to tell it to run that function. And then this post list dot index and then the search key. So the search key is the name of the thread. And so this will actually just return the index. This is actually a pretty nice function because um, it's you know less than I mean one line, and it's going to search all those posts and and return the index of the one that I want. So let me run that. And we we're still printing this. So let me stop that. list all right so what I'm looking for is two and it's gonna give me a two all right so there's my two so that's the index of the post um, so hopefully that makes sense right zero one two okay so now that we have the index of the post we need to get the URL because that's what I'm actually interested in and let me so now it's pretty much the same process as up here but instead of uh, data title, we're going to do data URL. So we're going to yield that. And then this is going to be another generator object. So then we need to list it out. And then we're going to return that. We're going to run it, create the URL list. And then we have this G. And the G is actually my post index so if I do print if I link it should yep so this is what I want this is the URL so if I take that I copy it go up here and that is today's daily thread Okay, so now you could be done um, depending on whatever your function is, but just because this is how I actually use it, I'm going to write it to a CSV. I'm going to write two different CSV files and then I can pull them into my website. So the first one is going to have the actual link that we just generated, and then the other one is just going to have the string. And then I'm just going to, at the very end, just print that. So I'm going to quit these prints. I'm going to run it and let's see if it works. Yep, that's very quick. And now I've created two CSV files. The first one has the link that I can pull in. And the second one has the name in the format that I want it. I just want daily fi thread and then the date. So that's it for the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, like I said, I really wish Pra would just work with Python anywhere, but it has to do with the proxy settings, um, so it does not. Uh, but if you if you do like Pra, keep using Pra. It's has a lot less. It's a lot easier to interface with. And uh, this, like I said, this because we're not authenticating our uh, user ID, we're not even accessing any user ID. We're just scraping the website. Um, 
so you can't post, you can't create a bot to annoy people or anything. All right, thanks, guys.